Now the next part of my process, which I haven't seen elsewhere, is joining two strips together before the pultrusion takes place, which is very difficult to get right. I tried all sorts of methods, including melting them with the soldering iron, various methods of trying to tie them together. Um, there were many failures, but this method does work. Firstly, one end of one of the pieces. Sorry, it's a little bit hard to see. Um, I should have used a coloured bottle, but uh, here we go. So we want to start by cutting sort of a one millimetre strip there. So a few centimetres long, a couple of centimetres, and then after cutting that we want to do a sharp 45 degree turn, about like that, and then snip off a little bit of, of that corner as well. Now we need to drill some holes. Drill one sort of right at, uh, at this corner here. Uh, I'm using a 1.5 millimeter drill, but by the way. Uh, drill that there pretty close to the edges. We want it as close as possible without, without being likely to actually break. You'll have to try this and get a feel for it. And then one more hole about a centimeter or so back from that one. And then some types of bottle, you might need to do a third one, possibly. So that's that end done. Let's do the other end that we're going to join. For this, we just need one hole right by the end. As close as possible with sort of a millimeter or less to spare. Now we're going to cut those corners to 45 degrees. This is important as well. So we've got our two ends now and we're going to thread one into the other. Uh, it sort of matters whether you do it from above or below in terms of which, or in terms of whether the, the sort of um, remaining bit ends up inside or outside your finished filament. You'll have to probably experiment with going in from above and below. This type of plastic I tried before and going in from below seemed better. Okay, so we'll thread that in. Sorry, this is very hard to see. Thread that in. Try and, um, try and pull that as tight as possible. Um, just because we want a minimal gap between the two bits of plastic, mostly so that there's a solid enough bit that the ex extruder in your 3D printer can actually continuously grab and push it through. So we've pulled it through as, as tight as we can. We'll do a sharp, a sharp um, sort of corner there. Uh, just make sure that's really as close as it can be. Bend it off. Um, now put that that end um, through that first hole. Pull that through, make sure it's just nice and tight and that there's no extra slack there that doesn't need to be there. And then we'll pull that end through the next hole. Pull it tight, clip that end down to a few millimeters. And we're done. That is our join. And we're going to pull it from this end. We're going to pull it along this way into the pultruder. And because there is no sort of end or, or tip facing into the pultruder, it's going to pull through as opposed to various other ways I, tie, I tried tying things together where um, the, the trailing strip sort of had a corner that, uh, or an end that didn't want to get pulled into the pultruder. Uh, this does work, fortunately. And now before I show you the pultruder more generally, let's just look at that joined piece going through. I'll just pull it by hand. Going through the pultruder. So many times 
this stuffed up and it broke when I was testing out various different methods, but this will just go in and come straight out the other end. So it doesn't fully melt the bits of plastic together, in fact pull truding like this doesn't melt the plastic at all, it just changes its shape so we still end up with a join visible there in the resulting filament but if I've done this right it should feed through a 3D printer extruder and nozzle without any problems. So here's the resulting filament. It was pulled through. It was pulled through this way. As you can see, that remaining small sort of tab or tag, uh, that last bit that was threaded through, I've ended up with that on the outside of the filament as opposed to the inside, which is not good. So there's a little bit of a a bit sticking out there that is quite likely to catch in our, in, well probably the hot end in the nozzle. Um, so let's just cut that as small as possible for now. Ideally, if I had threaded the one part through from the top rather than the bottom, uh, that could have been avoided so long as the sort of curling together of the plastic strip happened uh, the same way around each time, which often it does, um, but that could be fine-tuned. Now, it's important here that there is not too much of a thin bit at here where the two parts join, because the extruder needs to be able to grab it. Uh, I think this should be okay, I've tested this before and it worked. Also, yeah, that obviously has to be not too much of a thick bit either that will stop it from being pulled into, well, stop it from being pushed into uh, the hot end. Also, try grabbing both ends and see if there's much wiggle room as, as the, the part pulled through the little hole as that moves in the hole. There shouldn't be... Ideally there'd be none. I think the issue here is if there is lots, then as it's being pushed this way into the extruder, if it's being pushed with quite a bit of force and, and there's sort of movement there, it, sort of, it can sort of bend the sides of the filament outwards, which then blocks it up. So you don't want that either. <laughs> 